Welcome everyone to the first official Cast Light review video. Who's excited? Are you excited? I know you are. Okay. So for those of you who don't know, I'm going to be going to New York in July for an extended weekend with some friends and I bought a whole bunch of different clothing items and accessories that I figured I would do a review and it would be really cool to be the first video for this channel. So it's going to be kind of a, a haul com combination review video. So without further ado, we're going to start off with the Toms that I bought. I really like this company because of the charitable work that they do. They're always giving back and I can really get behind companies that do that because that's just awesome. I've always wanted a pair and I figured that this would be a perfect opportunity to buy a pair. They're really snug and I think it's just because I bought them and I haven't really worn them too much. I haven't really broken them in. So I'm almost positive that they will get better. The quality of these shoes are awesome. They're very lightweight. They're not gonna weigh you down. I loved the, the interior pattern of the animals because I'm a huge animal lover. And I think that, that was an awesome choice. I really have no complaints about these shoes besides the fact that they're kind of a little bit snug right now. But like I said, with any shoe, you know, once you wear it around a while, it will get better. And that's what I'm kind of hoping for with these shoes. I believe they were $48 or something like that in that ballpark. I did have a coupon. So for me, it only ended up being like around 41 and they do give free shipping, which is the best thing I think when you can shop online. The next Next thing that we're gonna review are these destroyed denim jean shorts that I got from Forever 21. They were around $20. Um, I got them pretty fast in the mail and I, I can't remember if I had, I think I had free shipping on them if I'm not mistaken. They looked really cool on the site, they look really cool online, it's just like I don't know if it's something that I would wear all the time. I bought it specifically to go to New York and it does kind of seem like a waste of money for me personally to have spent $20 on these shorts that I would only wear like one time. And maybe it's just like, I don't know how I really look in them. I just, I, you know, maybe it's me. Maybe I can't pull off this look. They fit really nice and everything. It's just, I don't know if I like how they look on me. And that's more of like my personal preference. It's really not a knock to this, this product or to this company. I think that this product is awesome. I'm just not sure if I'm the one that can be pulling it off. But I will be wearing it to New York. We will see how it goes. If I get strange looks from strangers, it'll kind of like reinforce my opinion about these. The next item is gonna be this Mickey Mouse shirt. I think this is the most comfortable shirt I've ever bought in my entire life. I love, like, I don't know what it is about it, but I got it from Target, it was around $10 and they have them all the time. It's like in their graphic t-shirt section. And I really, 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 really think this is so comfortable to wear. I'm gonna be so happy to wear this to a concert because I'm just gonna be dancing around and it's gonna be comfortable and I'm just really excited to be wearing this out. It can be a sleep shirt, it can be a day shirt, it can be whatever you want it to be. It really looks vintage, the wash on it. It really looks like it's been worn around a lot. And I really just, I really, really, really like that kind of style. All right, this yellow jacket I bought to go with the Mickey Mouse shirt I got from Forever 21. It was around $25. It's essentially a jacket, but it's really light. So that's why I'm wearing it to a concert because I was originally gonna buy a baseball like athletic jacket, but I felt like that would have been too warm since I am gonna be in a stadium. I'm gonna be probably dancing around. I'm gonna be creating some body heat. So I don't need something that's gonna like wear me down and like make me sweat. Like, no, that's just not, that's not gonna be a good thing. I was really happily satisfied with this product because it is very light. There are a couple parts in it that have a little bit of material that might get a little warm, but it's mostly around the pockets. And what I love of like a lot about this product is that the pockets have zippers on it so no one can really pickpocket you unless they like unzip you and then just you know and then at that point it's like you kind of almost deserve to be pickpocketed if you don't notice. I bought these red glasses on a whim because I needed something else to add onto my order to get free shipping from Forever 21. They're around six dollars so that was kind of like my my reasoning for it um, really but besides this pink red color they also have I know they have like yellow and green I'm not sure what the last one was there was something I want to say it's Orange, but I kind of also want to say it's blue and I don't remember for sure so you're just gonna have to go check it out but I thought six dollars for something like this was a pretty good deal it's not like I'm gonna be wearing this around like all the time so I don't really feel too bad about spending only six dollars on it I felt like it's gonna be a really cool thing to wear to the, the show that I'm going to I'll be like all neon and everything so I could kind of justify spending six dollars on these glasses I mean and you could wear them around 
it, I'm not telling you you can't, but just me, I would be wearing it just for the concert. The moth necklace is a really cool piece that I'm excited to wear around New York. It's a death, death's head moth, and if you guys are a fan of the Silence of the Lambs, then you'll know that that's the moth that was featured in the movie. And I really like the quality of this necklace. It's a really nice, like, uh, chunky kind of necklace. It was $25, and it was from a independent uh, Etsy shop called Enchanted Leaves, and I will leave the description in the description box, or the link to this product in the description box. I thought it was really cool. It's a really cool piece to wear. It's a really nice, like, sh like, um, like kind of like a almost costume jewelry. The snow cone necklace is also from an independent shop, but this shop is also on Etsy called Tiny Hands. They um, specialize in food jewelry. There's pretzels and cotton candy and um, the atomic bomb pops and, and all kinds of stuff like that. It's really cool. But the one that I picked for the show is the snow cone necklace. It was around $28 and I usually don't like spending that much for a necklace, but when I got it in the mail, the quality was so good that I kind of understand why the pieces are that expensive. All of them are supposed to be scented as well. Mine wasn't really too scented, like you really had to get really close to smell anything, and even then, to me it didn't smell that fruity like it was supposed to, but mine could be defective. I'm not saying that all of them, you know, don't have that strong of a smell. I'm just saying from what I got in the mail. But all in all, I really do like the product. The Supreme wristband is probably my favorite thing that I got. It's from an Etsy shop called Hardware Designs, and essentially it's just a metal cuff. You can, you know, bend it and let it fit other parts of your arm or, you know, whatever. I kind of wanted it for my upper arm, but it was too small, so I'm gonna have to, like, just do my my lower arm but I thought it was a really cool piece to wear especially for what I'm wearing it with I think that it's gonna go really well together I think it was only $15 so it's really not that bad for a cuff and if you're a fan of American Horror Story at all I would really really suggest getting this piece because it's really cool this tank top that I got is from Urban Outfitters specifically the brand Supreme being which I believe is a United Kingdom brand if I'm not mistaken, I just saw this on the site and I'm like, $30 for a tank top is a bit pricey for me, but I really, really liked the design on it and I got it in the mail, it's very comfortable. When I first got it, it was really loose and I didn't like it, but after I washed it, it kind of shrunk a little bit and now it's to, to the point where I really, really do like it and I like the fit and everything. And I think it was just a really cool thing for me to buy, especially for New York, but it's definitely something that I'm going to be wearing around all the time, so I don't really regret spending that much money on it because it does. it is a really cool piece to wear, and I do love wearing it, so I really do highly suggest this one. The shark necklace that I got is from a brand called Les Animal, which I believe is the correct way to say that. I also found this site on a site called ShanaLogic.com. And Shana Logic is a company that is based in Michigan and they are a store that showcases a lot of independent artists and jewelry designers and stuff. And they sell those products on this site and there's always discounts and coupons and stuff. I'm really excited to find this because it's a really cool site with a whole bunch of different really cool things. And I discovered a lot of the artists that I bought products from through this site. And Lay Animal was actually one of those artists. Now they they specialize in a lot of animal designs, whether it be necklaces, little figurines, you know. The whole site's really cool. I believe the shark one was $30. And they have a whole bunch of different animals. There's a horse, there's a ram, there's a velociraptor even. So if you're a dinosaur fan, there's even things for you. But I'm actually wearing this whole outfit to an aquarium, so I really wanted something to kind of, you know, go along with the, the marine feel. To put everything in, I had a canvas bag that I got from American Eagle a few years ago for, you know, college courses and whatever, but when I was packing everything, I'm like, not everything's gonna fit, and I just came upon this bag on Fre at Forever 21. It was around $20. It has patterns of sea life all over it, so it's awesome in my book and it does fit everything that I want to take on the trip, plus some so I can buy a couple souvenirs to take back home. I'm just overall very thrilled with most of the things that I got. I'm excited to bring everything to New York. 
and wear them and have an awesome time. And I think that's it for this video, guys. So, again, if you liked anything in this video, if you want anything in this video, I am going to be leaving all of the links to the products themselves so you can buy them. Maybe the companies will have coupons out so you can get discounts on them. I'm not 100% sure about that. I really would recommend any of these products to you guys, so don't you feel like there's any product that I showcased today that I wouldn't recommend to you. I'm already thinking about ideas for next week, but I'm gonna keep that under wraps for a little while. I think I already have, you know, basically what I want to do done. So I will see you guys next week, and I hope you have a good one. Bye.